Hey everyone, thanks for joining me today. I'm Jessica and I'm a student at Mississippi State that's been looking into some aspects of construction that might interest y'all. I've been traveling the state observing why construction matters and I want to show you through my eyes what I've seen and experienced. Over the next two minutes I hope to uncover the importance of construction to the military. From airfields to military bases to helping soldiers safely conduct their missions, construction is in it all. So stick with me today and catch a glimpse into why construction matters to the military. Nod your head if you know someone that has ever served in the military. Those individuals put themselves last as they stand up for our country and all the rights we have. So, while they are defending us, we want to be sure to assist them. The construction industry is continuously developing new technologies to best serve those that are serving us. I was lucky enough to get a look into some of the ways the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is stepping up for the safety and well-being of our soldiers with the tour of their Engineer Research and Development Center, or ERDIC. Throughout the day, I was introduced to several specialized groups that focus on individual needs. One group focused on survivability, while another worked to enhance response time in critical situations. From rapid construction to permanent infrastructure, the Corps of Engineers was covering all the bases. See what I did there? Let's start with rapid construction. At Erdic, I got to see several innovative ideas such as guard tower structures and defense walls designed so that all construction can be done with the hands of a small group of soldiers and typically be completed within a day. Mobility and projection of the military anywhere in the world benefits from rapid construction techniques. Makes sense, but I hadn't thought of this before my visit to Erdic. Advancements in soil testing, material properties, and construction techniques have redefined military movements. Today, bridges and temporary airfields can be constructed in limited time frames. They've even made a runway out of aluminum. Now that's what I call impressive. Rapid construction is neat, but that's not all that construction builds for the military. Permanent structures, such as bases and airfields, are constructed to withstand emergencies and extreme weather conditions. Projects are developed to handle whatever is thrown at them. As you head toward the July 4th holiday, thank someone in the military and think about this. The construction industry goes places you'll never have to go, to build infrastructure you'll never have to see, to keep our lives the way that they are today. Thanks to all who have served the military and to all civilians and active duty personnel involved with construction. My case, I do the experiment stuff, so. Okay. And it, it takes six months. And that coordination and 